I was born in Anacortes, Washington, a wonderful uh, town, uh, a small town actually, a fishing uh, place, a, a place where salmon fishing and logging and the lumber mills were the industry. It was a, a very energetic town when I was a child. I chose law because I ran out of other alternatives trying to find what my role was in life. I had um, thought about Everybody else around me seemed to know what they were going to do. They were either going to be an engineer or something. Um, but I just had no clue when I was in college. And so I stumbled into law, and law found me. And it was um, love at first sight. Gonzaga was a, a, a tremendous learning experience for me. I, I learned so much there. I learned how to study. I learned uh, about relationships with people. I had that great Jesuit uh, education. Uh, Gonzaga was a true uh, turning point in my life. Well, as you know, the Jesuit education believes in educating the whole person. And they teach the students to see God in everything. But they also teach that we have an obligation to promote justice, to be, to, that we're part of a cultural, um, global, um, world and that we have an obligation to be committed to the well-being of all people. In fact, the Jesuits have a Latin uh, expression which translates people for others. And it's sort of like, you know, in Isaiah it says, um, see that you seek justice, defend widows and orphans, and help those in need. And it, that was the real summary of, of the Jesuit education. So when I got out of Gonzaga, I was convinced that I have a, had an obligation to help other people, that I had to use what I had been given at Gonzaga for the benefit of others. And so the Gonzaga training from the Jesuits was uh, extremely important in the formation of my thinking about who I was and what my obligation was. Well, my greatest personal achievement was talking my wife into marrying me. My greatest professional achievement has been I would call leveling the playing field for ordinary people in courtrooms against the rich and the powerful, against large law firms representing large corporations, against government, giving people a fair shot at justice just like everybody else and just like the rich and the powerful. And for that I've uh, been grateful for my training at Gonzaga. I'm proud of the fact that my friend Christine Gregoire uh, asked me to represent the state of Washington when she was Attorney General in the tobacco litigation. I considered it a privilege to work with her. I um, am very proud of the uh, work I did for the Brame family in establishing through that lawsuit a, um, a, a center for abused women and for changes in the law relating to uh, domestic violence. Um, I am proud of the fact that I was asked by the Brady Gun Center to represent the victims in the sniper shootings on the East Coast against the gun industry. Um, so there are certain cases that stand out, but frankly, uh, all of the clients I've represented are important, and I, I don't mean that uh, in anything other than a sincere way. I would like to uh, be able to share what I've learned with others. and perhaps to ensure that I have made a difference in terms of good. You know, there's a, there's a um, Bobby Bear, a country western singer, has a song, and, and the lyrics are, will anybody know I've been here when I'm gone? And I'd like somebody to know I've been here when I'm gone, but in, an, in a good way.